For this video presentation, we will be doing an analysis of characterization in Chapter 5. We will be going over characters by acting out the scenes and analyzing literary conventions. In this chapter, we'll be focusing on characterization, the use of characters, and the effects of these on the story. Okay, so how, this is how you play. Uh, each piece moves in an L form. So you can do however you want as long as it's in L shape. That was too straight. You have to go in an L shape. See, you went like three and then one. It has to be more like three and then two because otherwise it's not, it's not an L shape. It's just straight. Oh. At this, I stood up, packed up, and sat and walked off. Never said out loud that she didn't know how to play. Disappointed as I was, I knew not to go that far. But my storming off was, I suppose, statement enough for her. During this scene, Kathy's interaction with Ruth reveals her ability to prevent being taken advantage of. Kathy is self-righteous and confident, as seen by her walking away from Ruth's cheating. In other instances as well, Kathy deviates from her friend's actions due to her own opinions, becoming friends with Tommy, for example. However, earlier in this chapter, Kathy shows that she follows others' examples when she finds them beneficial or entertaining. She humors Ruth with keeping up with the charade that Miss Geraldine is in constant danger. Kathy also shows that she'll follow another's lead in order to demonstrate her devotion to them, just so long that it doesn't go against her own morals such as storming off from Moira. Hey Ruth, remember when we were secret guards? How long did we pretend that we were? Um, I think that was two or three weeks, I'd say. Are you sure? I feel like it was more about nine months. Maybe even a year. Ruth's underestimation of her participation in her secret guard reveals that older Ruth has regrets over the events that took place. This foreshadows the division of Ruth and Kathy's friendship during this period of time, and it shows how much Ruth values the preservation of them being together. Even now, if I'm driving on a long gray road and my thoughts have nowhere special to go, I might find myself turning all of this over. Why was I so hostile to Moira B that day when she was, really, a natural ally? What it was, I suppose, is that Moira was suggesting she and I cross some line together, and I wasn't prepared for that yet. I think I sensed how beyond that line, there was something harder and darker and I didn't want that. Not for me, not for any of us. This interaction between Kathy and Moira is key to understanding Kathy's morality. While Kathy recognizes that Ruth, most likely, is no longer her friend, she has no ill will towards her. Moira subtly suggests taking revenge on Ruth, and Kathy is not willing to do so. Kathy attributes her loyalty to being inspired by Ruth, even though Ruth was the one to sever ties with her. This demonstrates Kathy's natural devotion to those she respects. So once Ruth had said what she'd said, I wasn't able, in my usual way, to let the emotional flurry just pass. I just stared at her, making no attempt to disguise my anger. Ruth, perhaps seeing my danger, said to me quickly in a stage whisper, not a word, and smiled again. But I couldn't return the smile and went on glaring at her. In this we see Kathy becoming emotional about the favoritism. She doesn't show anger at others often, and yet, in this moment, she does. And with her friend, no less, 
This is also a perfect example of one of the times that she doesn't or can't hide her emotions as she tends to. This scene lets us see that even she can't mask all her emotions all the time, giving her a bit more depth. 